Hey guys, welcome back. Jonathan here. So we've got another Wise Car Mods. Today, we're going to talk about the Wise Solar Panel. And if you look on the website, you look on the box, it pretty much says for use with the outdoor Wise Cam. I don't have a Wise Outdoor Cam, but what I do have is a Wise Car. And what I also have is a Wise Power Bank with a micro USB plug which just so happens to be the same as the micro USB plug on the Y solar panel. So, um, all right, so first, does this work? Let's answer that question right now. All right, so the answer to this question is, yes. You can see we're getting the blinking probably hard to tell on the camera but I am getting the blinking on the last one let's try one that's a little different like a different brand got this one's almost completely dead if you can't see but it is definitely blinking all right so what do we do now yes all right so obviously the answer is yes so looking at the battery bank, so let's talk about this. So this produces power at five volts. This accepts power at five volts. And the operating wattage for this is 2.5 watts, which if it's five volts and two and a half watts, that's half an amp, so 0.5 amp. If you're like me and you had a cell phone 10, 15 years ago, the the original like phones would have a charger that was five volts and like 0.5 amps the phones were not super powerful and this is essentially about the same um, amperage as that now on the other hand your wise power bank accepts five volts two amps into the input in the um the micro usb which is 10 watts so yes it works it is four times as slow as plugging it into a wall outlet and charging it, but it will actually charge it. So the next question is, how does this fit on here? Well, I was looking at it, and we'll zoom in here in a little bit closer, but it looks to me like if you had it hooked on this last rail, you might be able to even fit it under that first one. So there's an opportunity, I think, where we can put this on the back of the wise car, it'll mount onto the back of that without trying to find some other, you know, we could do like zip ties or something, but I think there's a better way. I think we can actually get it up under those two crossbars and have it actually sit and be permanently mounted to the top. The width is also perfect. It's not, it's actually not too wide. I don't know if they planned this wise, but you guys did a pretty decent job. So, all right, so we know it's gonna work. We'll go ahead and check on that. Let's talk about the battery bank again a little bit more in detail. Because for the Wise car, it has 10,000 milliamps, which is a really big battery size. Um, you've got a USB, micro USB input of two amps, which is 10 watts. You can also use the USB-C as an input to charge it, which is also 10 watts. Now the differences come when you go to um, plug it into other devices. So your Wise car runs on five volts, two amps by default. I had to get another one just so we can start over again with modifying it. Um, this one obviously has bigger and it's got a separate battery for running it. So it uses 10 watts to run. Obviously we're gonna try to see if we can tap into some of this other potential in the future, which is having the USB-C try some of these higher voltages, which is it could run nine volts at two amps, which is 18 watts, or 12 volts at one and a half amps. So you can basically try to maximize the voltage coming out of this thing so that we get more watts of power, which would be ideal if we're trying to direct that power directly to the motors and then use a, either another charger to run the five volts to do the, the camera, or if there's a way that we can tap in and use two of the five volt 
USBs. We're gonna try that in a future video as well. All right, so back to our camera. I'm sorry, back to our wise solar panel. So let's go ahead and see how we can mount this on here and how we can plug it up. All right, and we're back. So now we're gonna go ahead and get this one set up. Obviously, this one for now, we'll just call baby brother because he has not been modded. Obviously, you can see how much smaller it is compared to I would say probably this one's one of my favorite ones just because of the, the just the sheer size. Um, we'll talk about the straps in a little while, probably in a different video because I've seen online and I've experienced it myself that these straps don't last that long. So we've got a solution for that coming for you guys. I've been working with um, Justin who is gonna get us some custom printed, 3D printed straps and also some custom 3D printed uh, wheel mounts even. So we can put on anything on the 110 scale size. And as soon as I get them in the mail, we will be doing another video where we talk about how we get it done. And again, I will take any feedback that you guys send me. If you want me to try to do different kinds of mods, I will absolutely do it. But for now, let's go ahead and get this put together because we're gonna see if we can mount this solar panel. And you're just gonna join it with me. I mean, I haven't tried it. I just think it'll work. And I mean, let's be honest, we're gonna make it work just like we've done with all the other mods. All right, so. Let's, let's just, I think we're gonna do it like this. So here's my thought. So this cam, this solar panel has like a little lip on it and it looks to me like the little lip will fit right in there. But obviously it needs to go a little farther. So we're gonna try to fit it right under there. Oh man, this is gonna be perfect. This is like, you cannot plan this out any better like can't be any more perfect. Trying to think the best way to do this. Just gonna run it through here. Then we'll wrap it around. It'd be good, right? It would have been cooler if they had made it in black. Let's just be honest then it could have matched everything. All right, so this is what we're working with. Now, obviously, I'm not gonna put it all together tonight, but this is what we got. So I've just gotta coil the wires back up and then we should be good to go. Cause the thought is it's gonna be coiled up and it'll just plug into the camera. We can leave it outside. And then, like I said, there's other options you could do with this. You don't have to mount it onto the car. This could, because the wire is so long, you could just mount it outside of your window and create like a, I guess like a docking station for your car if you didn't wanna to have to plug it up and charge it. It could be mounted outside like it's supposed to be and be outdoors and then just run inside your window and then just charge the battery bank up. Because essentially what's inside of these outdoor cams is just a, a LiPo battery. And that's what we're charging here at the five volts. And of course it's meant to be weather resistant, but it just, it fits so well. I mean, I think it's such a great idea. So we're gonna make this one work. So I had other plans with just modifying this one and making it different, but I think the route we're gonna go with this one now is gonna be more of like a Mars Rover feel. So we're, we do need to change the wheels. Probably won't go with a monster truck wheel, but I think we should get something that reminds us of something like the Mars Rover. And then I will take any feedback you guys have on what we should add to this thing to make it more like a Mars rover. Like if we want to try to get some Arduino and like, you know, put some arms or a drill or something on it, just throw some ideas out there for me. But uh, just the mere fact this does work is awesome. So 
I'll finish it up and then we'll get another um, completed picture at the end. And again, you know, if you haven't subscribed and you haven't shared this video, share it with others because I'm going to keep doing mods until we just we mod every car that Wise has put out there because as they come out of the box, they're not that great. Um, but if we spend a little bit of time and we mod them, I know a lot of you guys are doing this with your kids and it's a project. So I will continue working with you guys and you know, coming up with things that we can do to them. All right, um, so I will do a little clip right after this and we'll show you guys the finished product. All right, so I've just finished getting it mounted and check this out. So what I did is I wrapped it around and I went through this portion here a bunch of times. So when you're looking at it, you don't see it, but what it does is it keeps it from actually moving. So it's solid. I didn't have to add any additional straps and I found a way to get the additional cord wrapped up. On the back side. I just kept flipping it under the little lip. So it turned out really great. So when we're looking at it from the back, I mean, it really has that, that cyber truck feel to it, the, the flat curved angle on the back. And I think this is gonna work out really well. So we'll do, um, I'll do some other videos where we, where we drive it around. And I know I've got some other ideas for this. So this is, this is nice. All right, guys, thank you again. And like I said, please subscribe and come back for more.